Robert, there's a lot of different ways to build a business. But if I want a business to be profitable, as well as something that I could leave to my grandkids, what is the, the focus uh, that you need to have? Focus is a really interesting word that you use. There's this famous story, I'm sure you've heard it, Kevin, between Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. They were asked to write down separately the one thing that led to the success in their business, and they both wrote down focus without seeing the other one's Love answer. It. Yes. So I think as business owners, it's easy for us to build a great product or have a great service that we're really passionate about. But so many times, I know you see it, Kevin, all the time, as business owners, we really fail with the ancillary tasks, the customer support, the level one technology issues, all the day-to-day -day tasks it actually takes to run a business. That's where most operators fail. And Rocket Station helps you focus by doing what you do best. Rocket Station exists so that you, as a business owner, can focus on your core competencies. What are you really good at and outsource everything else. Super. So Robert, customer expectations have never been higher and there's really no margin for error. Uh, customers want immediate response, they want a personalized response. Why is customer service so difficult today? We live in this review culture today. It's so easy, almost anonymously, to go online and stamp stars on anything. Oh, yeah. And if you don't get five stars, that can be very mm -hmm. damaging. Technology can only carry you so far. It takes great teams to actually build a great business and deliver a great product or service. Yeah. Most people have a great core functionality in their business. It's a great product. They know what they're doing. They, they know how to, how to build the core functionality of the business. A absolutely. In fact, I mean, you mentioned teams. You know, why is it so hard to build a team and where do most people fail in that process? I think most people fail right at the beginning. We all feel pain in the day-to-day -day that we just want to get solved, whether the phone's ringing, emails are coming in, maybe calendars are, are booked, your bookkeeping is, is not being reconciled appropriately. We all have different pain points, and usually the response is just to throw someone at it. And then when it doesn't work out, we get frustrated and don't like teams. Mm -hmm. We think most companies do it backwards. You should start with having alignment, clear vision about exactly what's happening happening in your organization. We build systems and process maps for what all those tasks should look like. Then hiring becomes a whole lot easier. Some of the biggest issues with building teams is just simply finding the right person to fit the right role. So having untapped potential to fill roles, the right candidates, being able to screen. It takes a big infrastructure to actually get the right team sure into does. your business. Yeah. So Robert, what's the solution here? Because I know that you've been consistently helping companies build amazing products and services without having to hire a lot of employees. I love that. How do you do it though? One of the great things about today is we do not have to have the traditional W-2 model. Most people are familiar with W-2 and 1099 mm -hmm. independent contractors. A few inherent problems with that. Lots of liability, lots of risk, mm -hmm. HR infrastructure needed to make that work. There's another option that not very many people are familiar with, but it's how we work. It's simply a service contract. We build your roadmap, your plan for every single task that needs to be completed in the day-to-day -day in your business. Then we match dedicated, perfect fit candidates for that role that work in your business just like a W-2 employee, but they're just a service contractor. Oh, wow, nice. No risk, no liability. We handle everything, so it's just flat fee billing to you. Functions just like an employee mm. without the risk. So most people are familiar with the traditional staffing models, but there's actually a service provider model out there right. that can really provide a lot of leverage for your business. That takes a lot of time and agony away for someone like me. I have a question though. What happens if you actually bring me somebody that doesn't work out? It's a great fit. It's one of the huge advantages to working with a company like ours. Turnover is one of the biggest expenses in any company. It can be so painful oh, yes. to try to replace employees. Part of the alignment phase and going through that discovery process with us means that you're getting a true partner in Rocket Station. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a long-term win-win relationship. Part of that is understanding your business in and out. So if it's time to replace somebody, whether it's for performance or sometimes it's just not a good core value fit. Sometimes it just yeah. doesn't work. 
Instead of going through the pain, the hassle, the emotional toll that it takes to spin someone back up, our team can essentially do that for you. Yes. It's not perfect, but it'll be super quick. You shouldn't lose productivity, and almost overnight we could replace that person for you. Beautiful. So, Robert, I love what Rocket Station does because they take such pain away for me as an employer and, and allow me to have more flexibility, more efficiency, less risk, as well as let me focus on the things that I do best, marketing, customer acquisition, raising capital. It's amazing how this works. It's probably why you got in business to begin with. We don't start out and build a business to hire employees or bang a he our head against the wall. We right. can do that on our own. We're here to build our dreams and our future and our kids' dreams. And if you're able to focus on your core competency it's, and what's really important to you, it can truly change your life. So Robert, I want to know exactly how this works because what I'm hearing so far is you're building the team, you're doing the documentation, you're doing pretty much all the heavy lifting here, right? It just, it sounds too good to be true, but tell me, what are the steps? How does it work? It's a simple four-step process we've perfected over the years. Most people want to start by jumping right into the people phase, and we just know that's a huge mistake. We start with discovery and alignment. We want to know all the ins and outs of your business. Our team is truly workforce management experts. We've helped over 2,000 businesses from publicly traded to truly small operators become more efficient, more scalable, and ultimately grow their bottom line and make more money. So that starts with alignment and clarity about what the outcomes, what does success really look like? You mentioned leaving a business to your grandkids. That's yeah. very different than an early exit. So right. we want to know exactly who you are, what your goals are, how does your business work right now? The second phase is our development team will work with you to create a customized plan that'll get you to where you're trying to go. So once we understand what your goals are, we need to create the roadmap to get there. Our team will do all the documentation, all the process map, all the training that needs to be done. Our team builds every bit of that. From there, now it's time to get into the people phase because now we know what we really are expecting from our team members and we have clear task management identified. Mm. From our pool of already trained candidates, there are team members that we would place dedicated with you so they're only going to work for your business. That's facilitated by our team. So we stay with you for the life of the account mm. as a partner. So the fourth phase is simply just implementation, onboarding, making sure you have success. Mm. So it sounds simple, but if you just follow our process and do exactly what the team tells you, we can almost guarantee success. Four-step process, very powerful. So Robert, my own personal situation, I have one of my companies, we needed an administrative assistant at a very high level, and over 18 months we went through four different people in that position doing it ourselves. This was before Rocket Station, but we had the contracts, the non-competes, the confidentialities, the non-circumvents, the hiring, the firing, it was so emotional. I mean, how does Rocket Station help in these kind of situations? Well, first, I'll just start by saying, Kevin, you're just like everybody else, so <laughs> you, you just feel good about that. It's kind of the point of why you need us and why you should use Rocket Station. You should start by being really clear. What does success look like? What are the outcomes that I'm really trying to accomplish? Right. We all have a few things in our head that are the highlights, but does that fill a complete day? Do we really have the structure there for someone to come in and be successful? The first thing we're going to do for you, Kevin, and that we did for you, was to make sure that there was a game plan built. Yeah. We wanted a roadmap for that assistant to come yeah. in and know exactly what success looks like. So before we hire somebody, before we go hire some smooth talker that's going to yeah. get you excited, that you're going to throw into that role before we really know if they're the right person. The first thing we're going to do is build a plan. We're going to build that roadmap. That's going to help us identify the perfect person. Beautiful. So we can't get swindled on an interview. Nice. We've all been on an interview. I've been swindled before. <laughs> we hire the person that interviews really well, mm. and then they end up not working out as far as the job is concerned. Yeah. Super painful, as you mentioned. So by being aligned up front, letting our team create those process maps, all the training documents, then it's going to be a whole lot easier to find the right person. We don't, we're not 100% perfect in our placement, but it's pretty close. And the reason is we start with the end in mind, and then we work with you to place the right person. Mm, nice. Is that intuitive? We got it. Does that make sense? I like it. Good job. Yeah, Okay. Perfect.
All right. Yeah. And that's really I, kind of what I'm looking I, for. I had the, the, the terrible uh, experience. I, the first one of the four that I hired shows up her very first day for work. And, um, and, and, and I, I, I work out of